I know it's been a while since you've seen Pat's Veggie and Scoots, but fall is absolutely my favorite season, so they just had to get in on the action. I've been having so much fun with the makers who've been stopping by and teaching me their new crafts, but I didn't want Patch, Veggie, and Scoop to miss out on pumpkin season, so let's turn the page and see what happens. Today's story is Patch, Hedgie, and Scoot, A Pumpkin for Patch by Anushka R. Merrill. Patch was in desperate need of a pumpkin. In the fall, everyone on the edge of the woods went nuts for pumpkins and gathered at Asheville Farms to express their love for the fruit. Today, the official celebratory pumpkin would be chosen and Patch wanted his to win. Except, he didn't have a pumpkin. So, are all of these already taken? Patch asked Scoot who was working as a pumpkin tagger for the festival. Yup, said Scoot. You were supposed to bring your own pumpkin, Patch, not pick one on arrival. The contest would be starting any moment, so Patch had to think of something fast if he was going to have a pumpkin to present. Mom spotted him pacing through a pile of leaves. What's up, Patch? she asked. I'm trying to think of a way I can enter my pumpkin into the contest, he replied. Mom was confused. She didn't think Patch had a pumpkin to enter. Do you have a pumpkin? She asked curiously. No, that's just it. I don't have one, sulked Patch. That's exactly what Mom expected. While Hedgy had spent all summer perfecting her pie pumpkin, watering it with a blend of maple syrup and honey, Patch had spent his summer playing tricks on any and everyone. He even had his bag of tricks with him now to pull some pranks on festival goers. Where's your bag of tricks? asked Mom. Huh? Now it was Patch's turn to be confused. Your bag of tricks! You have it here, don't you? Mom knew everything. Come on, she said. I've got an idea. Patch was unsure what was about to happen. He wondered why Mom needed his bag of tricks. What kind of a trick did she have in mind? First, Mom asked Patch to gather leaves around the farm. Put as many leaves as you can into your bag of tricks and then come around the barn to find me, Mom said. At the barn, Mom helped him fill up any extra space with hay. I still don't know what this has to do with the pumpkin, Patch said as he stuffed. Oh, you just wait and see, Mom replied. After stuffing the bag of tricks, Mom tied the top shut and they fluffed and poked and prodded the bag until it resembled a pumpkin. Then, Patch took it into the pumpkin patch. Looking at the other pumpkins on display, Patch wasn't so sure about his makeshift creation. The other pumpkins had lumps and bumps and all kinds of ridges, but they still looked better than his sad sack. Well, the other pumpkins were better than his, and Patch won nothing that day while Hedgie's Pie Pumpkin won Best in Show. Patch knew that Hedgie deserved to win because of all the time and effort she had put into preparing for the contest. Even so, he was proud that he had presented something to the judges. Next year, however, he would be ready. He would grow a pumpkin for every category and would win them all. But for today, Patch and his bag, I mean pumpkin of tricks, would settle for a little mischief. After all, they had some catching up to do. The end. With the holidays around the corner, you can never have too many pumpkins, so stop by this channel soon to see how you can make these no so pumpkins just as Patch did. You can also stop by Instagram to see all the cool stuff that I've been up to, and also to place your orders for all your holiday items such as papers, cookies, and more. I'm planning on having makers on at least twice a month and Patch, Hedgie, and Scoot stories twice a month. So you'll see Patch, Hedgie, Scoot, me and a maker crafting, and then Patch, Hedgie, and Scoot again. Tell me what you guys think of this format. Keep crafting, and I'll see you next time.